What is going on, y'all? This is Chris Saunders, aka CS Productions 29. You are loved, you are valued, and you are appreciated. I just want to say Merry Christmas to all. So, um, again, I've mentioned it on a couple of different videos because I'm not sure how I'll edit these or record it, but I will be working remotely uh, for my full time job for a little bit. So, I'll be away from this workstation. So, in preparation for that, really trying to record a lot of videos today and songs and reactions for you all so that I can uh, still release a video every day. Uh, heading into the new year. Additionally, I will be taking a, a little bit of uh, some time off at the beginning of January, getting away. I'll be in a remote location. There won't be cell service. There won't be internet. It'll just be, you know, spending some time in nature and getting away to kind of clear my head as well as go into 2021. Uh, re-energized. So uh, I will still have on a timer or on the schedule videos uh, throughout those days to be released, but working through those today. So with that, uh, some of the conversation aspect will be a little delayed from the comments uh, and, and diving into uh, trying to respond to as many as I can uh, and getting through those. But we are going to continue through the Taylor Swift project. Going to check out probably four, five, maybe six songs on this album. And so some of the uh, questions I have or conversations we have will may be a little bit delayed of, of the timelines, but uh, I just want to say thank you to you all uh, for this journey the past few months for the newcomers. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join the journey. We have an awesome community here that we get to uh, fellowship with and just converse and learn more about so many amazing artists and, and bands and songs. And so we are going to dive into a few songs off of um, this new Evermore album that Taylor Swift surprised us with uh, today. So this is Champagne Problems by Taylor Swift. So I was going to mention earlier, just the kind of cadence, doom, 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 with the, the piano there. Um, it's very, it's very mellow. It's very simple. It's um, really creating the atmosphere for uh, her vocals to be the primary focus within the song, as well as the lyrics and what she's talking about. And then on that turnaround there, it was really nice hearing, um, it sounded like an acoustic guitar, um, s subtly in, in the right ear, just adding a little bit, um, uh, another dimension dynamic here on the, on the turnaround of uh, really accompanying the piano with uh, providing an additional kind of melody there. But diving into this lyrics a little bit, Taylor, why'd you do this to me? Why'd you do this to us? Uh, heart was glass and you dropped it. Champagne problems. It, it sounds like she's talking about a situation where maybe she was in a relationship or a, a portion of a relationship and, and this guy um, really cared about her and just kind of depicting a, a story or uh, a time where um, broke this person's heart. You told your family for a reason You couldn't keep it Sister splashed out on the bottle. Now no one's celebrating. Tom Perry on you brought it. No crowd of friends. 
once applauded Your hometown skeptics called it champagne problems You had a speech, you're speechless Love slipped beyond your reaches And I couldn't give a reason Champagne problems touch on the Chevy door, November flush and your flannel cure. This dorm was once a madhouse, I made a joke, well it's made for me, how evergreen our group of friends don't think we'll say that word again, and soon they'll have the nerve to deck the halls that we once walked through, one for the money, two for the show, I never was ready so I watch you go, sometimes you just don't know to someone's on their knees and asked you she would have made such a lovely bride what a shame she's fucked in the head they said but you'll find the real thing instead she'll patch up your tapestry that i shred and hold your hand while dancing never leave you standing interesting so i'll, I'll go back like five seconds but uh, was looking at i have the lyrics here down below and um as well as, of course, on the screen with a lyric video. But it's kind of interesting looking at this loop, this video loop uh, for the lyric video that's going on in the background. And I have some thoughts uh, on something that stands out to me that I'll mention at the end um, that I've been thinking through, but I'm just, it's just curious to me. So let's go back like five seconds. The real thing instead She'll patch up your tapestry that I shred And hold your hand while dancing Never leave you standing Crestfallen on the landing With champagne problems Your mom's ring in your pocket Her picture in your wallet You won't remember all my champagne problems Interesting. I like the ending there where it kind of uh, did a little extra on the piano and it seems like it was um, just some of that extra stuff you get in a studio session or a jam out session uh, and keeping that within the uh, final song. I, I personally like that. I, I think sometimes it makes things feel a little bit more human, a little bit more in touch uh, um, with the audience or a fan base, uh, at least for me. So I think it's interesting here. It, it seems like the, just the song she's talking about, a situation where um, either she or a person, a, a lady broke this guy's heart, fragile heart, and um, towards the end in some of the commentary, like she would have made a great bride, but too bad she's messed up in the, she's messed up in the head. And I'm assuming the reference there is kind of tying into like, she doesn't realize how great of a guy you are, therefore, she broke your heart and kind of talking about how this guy had the ring in his pocket. He really uh, loved this woman, wanted to propose to her, uh, et cetera, but uh, she was uh, crazy and, and broke, broke his heart. Ladies, don't do that to us. Come on now. <laughs> um, but, and then towards the end here where it says, and hold your hand while dancing, never leave you standing, crestfallen on the landing with champagne problems. Your mom's ring in your pocket, her picture in your wallet, you won't remember all my champagne problems. You won't remember all my champagne problems. So I'm kind of curious there on the end, is it talking about where things did end up working out in the end? And uh, she's saying like the guy is so infatuated in love, he won't remember uh, like her crazy side or the things she's done in the past uh, to hurt him. Is that what she's kind of referencing there with you won't remember all my champagne problems? So I'm, I'm curious there. But then also on the, the video loop in the background on the lyric video, um, you, you can see the ring drop in and cause the, the uh, carbonation to like activate and, and fizz up within the 
glass of champagne. But one thing I found interesting is you could clearly tell what it was in the background, a glass of champagne, right? But it wasn't in focus. And so I'm just, I don't know if it means anything. I thought it was interesting how it, it wasn't in focus throughout the video. And you could still, of course, tell what it was, but it was out of focus. And I was kind of curious if as the video um, continued and transitioned or moved along, if it would ever come into fully focus at the end. And I didn't at least see it do so. So that was one thing that kind of stood out to me as well. But that was Champagne Problems by Taylor Swift. Let me know what you thought in the comment section down below, as well as help me out with some of the story and thought process behind some of the theories going on here with this uh, video. Um, but don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, as well as hit that subscribe button, as well as the bell notifications for all notifications so you never miss a video in the future. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.